This tutorial today is inspired by the movie Broken City, where Catherine Zeta-Jones stars as the elegant wife of the New York mayor. Start out barefaced as usual and move right into priming the face. I have here Primping with the Stars from Benefit. It's a kit filled with some of Benefit's top picks. Using their eyeshadow primer, I'm going to dot my entire eyes like this so that the primer is evenly distributed. And with the delicate ring finger, blend away. Primer not only helps with eyeshadow, but it also helps with concealer. So take your concealer, the one I'm using here is from the Benefit Kit. Conceal your dark circles and eyelids and blend away with your ring finger. Now the concealer is not going to smudge or settle into fine lines. And once you're done, just dab your eyes with loose powder. This will actually help your makeup last longer. And then let's move on to eye makeup. For the eye makeup part, I'm going to be using Lorax eyeshadow palette. And for this tutorial, I'm only going to be using my clean fingers to apply my eyeshadow. If you don't have any brushes or you forgot them on your trip, no worries. Just make sure your fingers are clean and starting with your ring finger, dab the base color on your lids. Gently dab it on like this. Pretty easy. Usually, you want to use a smaller brush for the darkest color. In this case, we have our pinky finger. The pinky finger will give you better control, unlike the rest of the fingers. With your pinky finger, apply the darkest color along the outer corners of your eyes like this. With the middle finger, this should act like the fluffy brush. Blend everything together. Try not to mix up the fingers or else your eye makeup might end up looking muddy. Whatever is left on your pinky finger, apply this along the lower lash line to balance out your eyes. For the highlighter, let's use the index finger. And apply this color along the brow bone and center of the lids to add more dimension to your eyes. Now, let's take a bronze eyeliner or eyeshadow and add this along the inner corners. Usually, if you want your eyes to have more of a doll-like look, use highlighter. But if you want a more mature look, add a darker color along the inner corners like this. Using your black eyeliner, line your eyes. What I'm doing here is building up my line by making tiny little strokes, filling in any empty spaces until I have one solid line. Time to curl the lashes and get them ready for mascara. I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Mascara here. It's a lash extension system where you prime the eyes first, build up the lashes, and then seal everything in. First step, I'm going to wet my lashes with mascara. And while the mascara is still wet and using their lash fiber wand here, I'm going to add a generous amount of their fiber onto my lashes. This is going to help build up my lashes so that they're longer with more volume. And now just seal everything in with the same mascara from step one. Not bad, right? It actually looks like I'm wearing fake lashes. All right, on to the next step, brows. Her brows have a higher arch than my natural brows, so I'm going to have to arch my brows a little higher than usual to recreate her brows. Finally, we can move on to the face. I am using here a foundation faker from the Benefit Kit. Apparently, it's an oil-free cream to powder formula that perfects your complexion, but it's not a foundation. This is a really nice product, but I only recommend it for those who have a good complexion because the coverage is pretty light. If you need more coverage, it's better to use a foundation. Seal everything in with your powder. And let's move on to the cheeks. Using Tarte's blush, I'm going to contour my face with this color, applying it on the apples of my cheeks and brushing it out. And 
Intensify the contour by applying bronzer. Bronzer will give your face more dimension by creating shadow. And whatever's left on your brush, just add this along the sides of your forehead to create an illusion of a smaller forehead. With an illuminator or highlighter, add this on the tip of your eyeshadow brush and then start dabbing it along the highest points on your face. Your brow bone, your cheekbones, your skin will instantly look as if it's glowing, giving you a healthy looking complexion. Since I'm kind of in a fancy mood, I am going to use this Dolce & Gabbana bronzer. It's gorgeous. This is what the bronzer looks like. Honestly, I didn't want to use it and I saved it just for this video. So here goes. As you can see, the first application will be intense because of the black pigments from the leopard spots. So make sure to really, really blend. After all the leopard spots are gone, it's just going to be a normal bronzer. For the lips, I'm going to give them a mini spa by exfoliating all the flaky skin off. This is the Victoria's Secret Lip Scrub. The scrubby bits are made out of sugar, so if you really want to make your own sugar lip scrub, just add sugar to Vaseline and use that as a scrub instead. Wipe everything off with a tissue and your lips should be baby butt smooth. Apply lip balm as usual and get ready for lipstick. Finish off your lips with a beautiful warm nude lip color. And now you're finished! I love wearing bright colorful makeup looks, but honestly, I prefer simple natural looking makeup. This is a very simple classy look that can be worn to work, dinner, and school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck! Wonder if you